What's up, boys? I don't know. I got, I got this new like phone, right? And my skin looks so like yellow with the camera, and I can't undo it. I think it's like this natural filter they put on it. I don't know. But anyway, um, yesterday's video, I forgot to uh, what do you call it? Make it public the time I was supposed to. So I literally did that this morning. So two videos today, I suppose. Um, but right now I'm on my way to the gym to go train legs. And I just want to chat to you guys real quick about um, just getting a pump versus uh, earning it, working for that pump. I think um, back when I was eating, you know, high calorie mummy's cooking type food and training at the same time, I found that uh, I could just almost touch a dumbbell and I'd get a pump. Like at the start of the year, I was doing heavy deadlifts, just literally sets of three to five. If you go on my Instagram stories, you can see I was lifting quite a bit of weight considering I just started in the gym, like 100 kilos, 110, I can't remember. I probably wouldn't be able to touch that weight right now. But anyway, I was lifting that kind of weight and I would literally feel my biceps get a pump from doing deadlifts. And even when I stopped doing deadlifts, by simply you know having the calories, having the glycogen in my muscles, I've naturally found that I was able to get a pump very, very easily, even whilst ego lifting. But now it's not so much the same. And what this cut is really teaching me is the value in, you know, going for the feels, like my coach likes to say, which is forgetting about PRing every week, forgetting about, you know, the pressure to add like 5, 10 kg to the bar every week. And instead focusing on like feeling your muscle through the range of motion because Obviously that's gonna increase time under tension, mind-muscle connection, all that kind of good shit, which is gonna help you get a better pump. And th that literally is the only way that I can get a pump on this cut, is by really going for the feels, by really, you know, being like laser focused. That's why before in the gym, you know, when I was kind of like main gaining on very high calorie foods, you know, I was very high energy, bopping up and down and all this stuff. And I still do that sometimes. I still like to train to that way, you know, um, get the Ziz music playing, get the pre-workout on. I still very m much enjoy that training style. But now, something that I've been really loving is just like sitting there, just silence, quiet. Sometimes turn the music off, you know, put the noise cancelling on, just quiet. Just silence at my own grunts. That's it. And just focus on, you know, feeling, this sounds so pessimistic, but like feeling the pain. Feeling like the muscle literally breaking down under the weight. I don't know, there's just something so satisfying about it. I'm going to wait for these cars to pass. And I find that training that, that kind, in that kind of style, by working for the pump, earning the pump, is the only way that I can get a pump on this cut otherwise it ends up just being a very like dry harsh you know painful sensation in the muscle rather than you know a juicy orgasmic pump sorry boys the pre-workout's kicking in now if you couldn't tell anyway that's it for me training on a cut is not fun you definitely got to work for those pumps you definitely got to earn those pumps but that's part of it bro that's a lesson we're learning and we're having fun whilst we're doing it. I'll see you in the next video, boys.